Hello everyone, welcome to an epic tale. A tale published by Nicholas for the Nintendo Switch and made with from Ludosity. These people sound familiar. Yeah. I think they're a game company or whatever, but that said, welcome to the epic adventure that is. It'll do too. Plus, yeah, it'll do. It'll do. Oh, yeah. I get it. That's Good the one. name. But I'm dish. But yeah, let's see. What should I name my file? It shouldn't be it'll. It should be something a little more classy, like uh doobie 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 Oh, no, no. This is pretty much its own self-contained story, but look. How did we reach get... land? Uh, surrounding wow, what us. The, what How? just happened? What did just happen? Um, we boarded. Uh, how did this happen? I don't know. <laughs> don't look at me. I wasn't driving. Well, I don't see any treasure around here. Let's find another island. And, um, oh. Eh, yeah, we'll get a new one. Aww. Where's this ruckus over here? Don't tell me you're adventurers. What if we are, huh? Huh? Mm. Ah, don't touch anything. Don't explore anywhere. Just leave. <laughs> but we don't have a raft. Can you help us out? So it's kind of 3D visuals I'm noticing in the back. Yes, I, I, I mean, no! No! <clears throat> I am Passel, the island caretaker. If you want to leave, then get swimming. There are no rafts to be found around here. Hmm, what's this thing you have here, <gasps> old man? I, I love how expression that these things could be. Hey, <laughs> give that back! Apparently there's a bunch of dungeons here with eight pieces of a raft in them. Really? We're doing this for a raft? Yes. This magical map will show the way to the next recommended de dungeon. Ooh, so there's adventure to be had here after all. <laughs> mm. ah, nosy roads. If you know what's good for you, then stay here in fluffy fields where it's safe. Poof, I say. <laughs> oh, poof, he goes. Jeez, what a grump. I'm allowed to adventure wherever I want. And I suppose you're after those raft pieces in the dungeons? Of course. Action, treasure, and a way to get off the island at the same time? Sign me up! Right. How about we just chop down a tree and be done with it? Yeah, we can just make a raft. <laughs> Rafts don't go on trees, silly. Now let's roll! She's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, she's boneheaded in the lo in the loosest sense of the word. But that said, welcome to the wonderful world of Edel Dude Two. We're ba it's basically a Zelda clone, a very nice one at that. And um, I just press the button here, and you can get tips from Tipsy. <laughs> get it? Oh, that. Oh, I thought he was just drunk. Yeah. No. <laughs> Honestly, I with the way he acts. He has wings. Just, yeah, yeah, he's a he's a fox dog. Was that a platypus? It was. It was, and we killed it with our with our with our trusty stick. Oh, Aww. The staff area, the toilet house, warp garden. Oh, oh, sorry. Am I am I away from my mic? Oh you uh, no, you're no, you're fine. Now you're better. No, you're fine now. Oh, oh yeah, the fluffy fields is pretty much our little tutorial grassland stage to get us accustomed to our surroundings and um. Oh, the hello, Mister. Turn up thing. You can hit the three doors for about pilots who live just south of here. So maybe I should get into the, big, uh, the, the more the nitty gritty about um, the island we're on right now. This was built with the intention of intention of being a bit of an attraction for up and coming adventurers like it'll do here. Uh, that said, um, the current caretaker of it hates adventures or adventurers rather. So Aww. there hasn't been much in the way of work around here. Ooh. You be that one. Well, never mind. Don't mind me, just an inconspicuous crystal. Oh, oh. That, that's a guy. That's a dude. Oh, sorry. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, no, um, don't mind this little thing here. You 
an adventurer. This is the staff area. No fighting. Oh yeah, by the way, don't um, mind that I stepped on the dude's pizza. Oh, oh. Sta oh, the staff areas and like this is where like all this is like the Imagineers, the work their workplace while the rest of the place is a theme park. Uh, kind of, sort of. Like it, it's basically where the where the where the quote unquote employees or whatever just stick stick around, have their morning morning time off or whatever. Well, I won't even so much call it an amusing amusement park. It's basically just well, a park. So, I guess you could call it a park. It's just someone made someone made their own custom built world map, and well, the they first wanted, dungeon is a pillow fort. Oh yes, our first major dungeon is a goddamn pillow fort, and it doesn't stop there either. Like that's one thing I'll give it'll do too. Like oh, there you go, Sealy. Excuse me, no running in the hallway, and please don't swing that dangerous weapon around. Oh, Otherwise, oh, oh. I'll, I'll have to hit you with this bomb stick. Oh, those weren't skeletons; those were just other staff members. Wow, dressed this up place as looks enemies. pathetic. <laughs> it may have it may have one of the rat pieces, but it still looks like a tutorial dungeon. Oh, uh, poor safety. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bunk, bunk, <laughs> it's like bonk, bonk, bonk. Really? Here, let me let me introduce you to my stick. Oh, safety, Jenny! No! Well, I wow, you made it to all the way to the dungeon. Be careful now, okay? Oh, there's this is more than one. Kind of cute, but also sad in some ways. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like again, like if there's there's one thing I'll definitely give Ildu to the dungeon variety is surprisingly impressive. Like your first dungeon, your first dungeon here is a, is a pillow fort. Second one's a sand, uh, like a sand castle. Um, later on, you also go through literally go through a dude's basement as well as an art exhibit, among other things. Crayons. Oh, nice. So yep. you're nice. so you're really drawing in the heart. Yeah, it'll do. Yeah, I pretty like much. It. And well, then it's kind of cool. This is almost like. This almost feels like to me if okay, granted, I don't don't read too much into what I'm saying, but like this almost reads like this almost feels like what if like Ed Ed Nettie made an adventure game? <laughs> yeah, more or less. Um, like, I get that I get that feel or like kids next door, like I like I love this feel of like everything's just kinda like created from scratch from normal things. Oh yeah, and again, it just it really gives it really gives um it'll do well both the first and the second game a very unique feel compared to other Zelda clones. I assume. Um, what's that? That uh, that? that is a that is a, a buff we just unlocked. Okay. And I'll... you can use a restore point. Well, basically, it's your checkpoint. And already we're at our boss. Oh, well then. Oh. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, hello. It's Cyber Jenny. Uh, okay. Oh, well, well, well. A gang of stray barbarians seem to have wandered. Blah blah blah. Hi, I'm Middle, and this is my flying dog Tipsy. I'm a fox. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was a dog. Sure you are. <laughs> Since when do foxes have wings? That is true. My, what a pair of characters. If it weren't my job, the great Cyber Jenny would be caught dead dealing with such rubes. Then again, I suppose it's about time an adventurer found this instead. No hard feelings, but it's time to take out the trash. But it makes sense. Aren't you going to taunt her back? Yeah, it's classic no. repartee. I'm just gonna smile and knock her senseless. Or have a positive attitude. That is the face In of someone. In your dreams, Big Jenny Gun, activate! That is the face of someone who's about to wreck shit up. But yes, here's our first boss of um, Cyber Jenny in her little robot body. Now, you may have noticed in that village we were in earlier, well, she was just hanging around. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, that's like, right. She was just. Yeah, like, she, I was saw the one, that. Oh, yeah, she was the one who was drawing. Whatever. Uh, no, she wasn't drawing. She was just hanging around alongside that oddly shaped gemstone thingy. Oh right, the one that Jordy voiced it. Oh, there someone else. Oh gosh. They just hang around in the hang around in the village, just on their off time. Whoa. Well, there you go. Oh, dang. Ow. And for our troubles, we get our first raft piece. Yay! Yay! I was Yay. Gonna say, I'm assuming we never actually get a new weapon. We just use the stick all the time. Oh no, no, you will get upgrades. As a matter of fact, um, we actually do spend a little more time in the pillow fort because I actually realized I actually skipped out on a few things. So I figured, why not? I'll. Explore some more, pat out the video a little more. <laughs> though that being said, um, if there's one thing I, though that being said, um, it'll do is actually a pretty short game. Like I imagine we're, we already beat the first dungeons less than ten minutes. Mm -hmm, and, the, and um, that's and um, I do beat at least two dungeons in this look at. There's eight in total, <laughs> though they do get a little longer in length and they get a little more complex the more you get into them. But yeah, the pillow fort's just that. It's a pillow fort. This almost feels like a Cartoon Network game, like Adventure Time. It may as well be. Oh, what, what, lovely, what lovely advice. 
all the blankets everywhere. But I mean, this is interesting, and it's a cute. And I and I now I'm understanding the whole idea of it being like an attraction. Like this is all just some big like theme park kind of thing they put together. It's it, it's it's really fun and original. I think. Oh yeah, and well, I mean, like I said before, you don't have to have played the original. It'll do to um to know anything like to know and lick about it'll do two's plot or whatever. Like there isn't that much to begin with. The most dialogue gotcha. you get is usually when you're inside the dungeons. Oh, that's the map. Mm-hmm. Or the compass. It's the sorry, map. yeah, it's, it's the, the compass. Map. It's the map. I'm sorry, I had to make that reference once. That's the map. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, yeah. With that said, um, we pretty much. Hooray, you clear this dungeon. There's nothing left to find. What are we even doing here? I'm watching your wings flap faster than a While we're exploring, of course, because that's what adventurers do. Duh. Thank you, thank you Ido. Or thank you, Dooby Doo is your name. Dooby Doo. Dooby Dooby Doo. Or at least it's our file name, but yeah. Um, I will say, though, um, compared to the first game, this one just goes for a straight CG cel-shaded feel, and I will. And it looks really good, like... Honestly, you honestly, save for like the character models, you couldn't you could almost convince me that these look like near 2D models. Or Fancy ruins. 2D sprites. I like, like I like the art style they go for. It's kind of like you know, a little children's drawing kind of feel. Mhm. Mm and um the first game actually did go for a hand-drawn 2D art style that again is very reminiscent of that of Wind Waker. Oh. Goodness me, are you an adventurer? Sure am, officer. Do you need to see my license? No, no, no. I'm a map maker. My job is to chart the island's optional hidden caves. Oh, yeah, optional stuff. You see, I, uh, oh, that's my son. I don't know if happened. I set up the map folder on fire. Oh. Yes, totally. Oh. Now, the boss told me, I, I mean, told my son and me to rechart the entire island. Right. So what kind of optional hidden caves are we talking here? <laughs> I can't tell you everything you know, but I'll give you a hint. See this stick here? Bonks him on the head, just carries him away. <laughs> it's the only tool you'll need to find and solve every optional hidden game behind it. Seems simple enough. But wait, there's more! Throws the stick. Fetch it! <laughs> no. Uh, the the powerful <laughs> items you won't find anywhere else. Wow, thanks for your help. I mean, am I an old man? Am I a potato? What am I? See you around, friend. And off he goes. You actually do meet up see with him ya. every once in a while. And, yeah, see, there's they're Cyber Jenny again. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> no, never mind. Don't worry. You get so distracted so easily. And uh, we've just unlocked access to the Dream World, which, oh, is, exclusive, which is exclusive to the Plus version of... Uh, Me too, baby. Welcome Sorry, to the guys. Dream World. Sorry, guys. I was working on an email. Uh, Thanks. I, I think it's supposed to be a meow. I think it's supposed to be a meow sound. Ooh, you look like someone who likes adventure. I'm always up for those. What you got for me? <laughs> Take a look around and you'll see a bunch of golden portals around here. Yep. Uh, if you want to enter them, you'll need something special for each one. Basically all the weapons you get throughout the game. That sounds simple enough. I smell some really nasty puzzles ahead, though. And I don't smell any treasure. What's in it for us? Collectible cards, of course! Isn't that just the greatest treasure of all? Besides true love, I mean, you. <laughs> so, this is some optional bonus unrelated to our real adventure. No items, no wrap pieces. You got it! Now I'll be over there in that big comfy button if you need me. Meow, later! Also, I just, also, I just saw something that was really- Oh, the useless button. <laughs> yeah? If you want to know the rules of the dream world again, just read those signs, meow! Yeah? So, this is some place we should not be coming back to until we have a lot of new, item, lot of new items. Yeah, there are, they're basically our post-game stuff. Okay. I mean, you also, can technically go through them, like, as early as you get the weapon, but at the same time, it's like, this was something that they added to, like, the plus, the, like, the updated version of It'll Do 2, and, um, I assume it got to start with, like, the Switch version, mm -hmm. which is what I'm playing, by the way. Also, I'm so sorry. Like, I noticed it in the CG, in, in the character art thing. Is, I, I think it's supposed to be wrinkles, but the way that the way that Idol's shirt wrinkles, it almost... Oh, yeah, there's the cat again on the pillow. I got someone in the trash cave. But anyway, no. Uh, in, in, the, uh, in, in the character art... The I taste of footprint. Her, her shirt's supposed to be all wrinkly, but uh, 
So when these guys aren't actually like obstructing your path, they actually have normal day jobs here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's cute. But I mean, no, no. It, it, okay, it looks like she has two sets of. Looks like she has two chests because of the exact way that the shirt was wrinkled, and it almost threw me like I like double took. I had to take a double take. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> You'll see it next time. Her, like, it's just the way that it wrinkles. I'm assuming, but just ugh. anyway. Well, to be fair, to be fair, it'll do is like she dresses so gosh darn casually. Or I'm surprised. Or I wouldn't be surprised if her clothing does wrinkle a lot. Oop, like I mean, raining. I mean, she. Yeah. Oh my disturbing. gosh, you're right. Uh, well, uh, I guess the cork is to childproof it. Yeah. That's disturbing. That oh, is why? disturbing. Anyway, I was about to say. I mean, let's not let's not also not notice the fact that it'll do is clearly barefoot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I she mean, is barefoot. Oh my god, you're right. Oh, that's right. We Whoa. actually we, I picked up a thunderbolt item, which is basically a screen nuke. <laughs> hmm. Pretty yeah. handy. And now we are we are at the. I forget what this place is called, but it's essentially Sweet like Water. Sweet Water Mountain or something like that. Sweet Water Beach or something yeah, like that. Sweet yeah. Sweet Water Mountain, Charlie. God damn it. Oh. No! <laughs> no, never bring that Don't up again. even go yeah, there. No, the only time I want you to bring that up is in the Three Little Princes. Oh, a candy cane oh. worm. Oh my god. Why That's can't we new. eat it? No. Because... Oh, you know what? Is. I'm not sure why, but yeah, use the entrance to our next dungeon. I'm getting legend. I'm getting for the legends all the one vibes from this. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it is more or less that. In fact, um... If I'm not mistaken, the original it'll do. Oh, wait, oh, before. We oh get boy! To that. Feel the smell of treasure chests full of items relevant to our quest. Ugh! At this see? rate, it's, it'll take three or more adventures to get this sand out of my fur. Look, see the wrinkles. See. Don't be silly. Oh. Just watch it out with some health potion. See, that's what I'm saying. I would if we had any, but someone quaffed it all a moment we set on this adventure. Croissant. That was you. Oh, yeah. I know. Sorry, <laughs> Tipsy. You look so unamused. Yeah, Tipsy has a has a bit of a health potion addiction. At least that was it was more apparent in the first game, but the second one is a little more subtle about it. What is with all the now, platypuses? Now I'm getting Spirit Tracks vibes from this. Anyway, um, <laughs> going back to my um, little fun fact for the day, uh, the original Ildu was actually, um, was actually, um, how should I put this? Um, they actually sent like a prototype of it to Nintendo because they wanted them to actually make their own Ooh. remake of the original Zelda game, or it was either the original Zelda or I don't know some sort of project. But they ended up canning it, and they had, they didn't want it to all go to waste, so that's why they that's how they made it'll do. Hmm. Huh. Well, I mean, I mean, if Nintendo's okay with it, which I guess they were because it was on the Wii U originally, I think. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Um, that yeah, being I'm said, I. That being said, um, I know I keep saying that a lot, sue me. Um, <laughs> the original Little Doos is a little hard to get back into. Like, I tried going back into it sometime after recording this game for the, for the look, for a look at, and, um, it was, it was harmless for the most part. Then I got to my first boss, and it was an awkward, it was an awkward time, so, yeah. Take that for what you will. So it, this game, this, this particular, this version here is a lot more. It's a lot more. It's a lot more accessible. Okay. I mean, the boss fights are still aren't exactly what I would call pushovers, at least later on, anyway. But at least the first boss doesn't feel like a complete drag or a, a game of chance. Oh, it's one of those kind of designs. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean. If nothing else, the first game still has probably the more appealing art style, just because everything's in 2D. But I, I won't, I'll, I won't, um, I'll give, um, it'll do to the benefit of the doubt, because I do think the CG style is a very decent substitute. Yeah. I, I mean, it look, it still looks very nice. Even if you take an, even if you don't mind how simple oh, the characters' heads are. The music's very catchy in here. Activate. Oh yeah, the soundtrack for it'll do too is really good, especially... Well, the um, overworld for the sand for the uh, sand candy place, and um, there was one other I really liked. I just can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, the um, theme to the uh, to the underground basement area is actually really good. Okay. Hmm. Do we know now? Are there any people? Okay. Okay. Ow! Ah, oh, no. <clears throat> and we're back at the start. Ow! Oh, rats. Oh, maybe we yeah, just go through this door. Wait, they do. Mm. Yeah, if you're in a dungeon, they do. Anyway, what was I say? Uh, I, I was just saying, there's no game over screen, so that just happened to be off 
Oh yeah, there's no there's no get, no such thing as a game over in this game. You just get you just get warped back to your previous checkpoint. Is there anyone that we would have? Is there anyone that we would know who has worked on this game? No, not that as far as I'm concerned. Everyone's pretty much got a, got a bunch of um, European names hey. that I can't think of. And yes, now we got our Ooh. war swan. Ooh. Basically, basically it's our long range weapon, which can also be used to activate certain. Yeah. Okay. Hey James, quick question. What's up? Um, thinking of, I'm getting Link's Awakening vibes from this now, and that just reminded me, uh, when it comes to Link's Awakening, would you rather record the, uh, would you rather have me record the black and white or the colored version? Colored version. Okay, that's what I thought. Just making sure. I mean, there's more, there's more there's stuff the in the- color dungeon, there's, even, yeah. There, well, yeah, there's more stuff, there's more stuff in, um, in the DX version anyway, so I'd just say go ahead. Nice. But, and, unfortunately, um, crayons are the only way you're gonna extend your health. There's no heart containers Aww. to be found. That's okay. Yeah, because you're drawing on your little piece of cardboard here, and I also and I also and I also realize. I oh think God. I fucked up. There you, go. you can you can you can recover. You just gotta go all the way around now. Oh mm -hmm. no. Yeah, now I gotta recover. Now I gotta backtrack. But um, I mean they're not too bad. Like the puzzles aren't too bad now, but with like say the trash caves and onward, they do start getting a little oh. more testy. You just decided to reset the whole dang thing. Yeah, I figured why not. <laughs> excuse me. Last year. You're excused. Thank you. you are not excused. And I pretty much do You're about the same. to do the exact same thing now. But I gotta give you credit for trying. Yeah, my tenacity knows no bounds. And why did I cut, not cut all this out? So I'm assuming because apparently I had an idea. So I'm assuming you can't. Oh, wait, yeah, I, I remember now. I oh, used that. Oh, I get it. See, there's now. many ways you can solve some of these puzzles. I was gonna say, I'm assuming you can't pull blocks. Nope, that'd be no. nice, but you can't. And no no upgrade you can find will really do that for you. Here we go. You couldn't do that in games like Four Swords either. Yeah. Let's so, our here's our second oh, boss. Hello. The gem! Oh yeah, I guess that was you, James. Aha! You're finally here! Le Biablo. Biablo? What? Who's this guy? Oh, it's, it, it's an anagram for Diablo. I am Le Biablo, and I'm here to avenge my cousin. Wait, did we fight him in the first game? Yes, and that boss fight was fucking annoying. Okay, so technically this is just my day job. The giant robot's part of the office dress code. Okay. Okay. But I'll still have my revenge! Tipsy just looks so unamused. Uh-huh. It'll... Do you know what he's talking about? I don't remember smacking any red crystals. His cousin must have been very forgettable. Uh-huh. Nyeh, nook, nah, laxin. It took weeks to glue him back together. I don't know what that means. Gross. Yes. Now have at you. <laughs> yes, I will. I will admit it. Whoa. But... <laughs> what that sound? <laughs> yeah. Oh the, my the, goodness. The voice acting in this game can be oh weird, but again, it's like wow. they're they're from some awkward, weird, awkward part of Europe. I don't exactly know the name of, so that's kind of the reason why. There's no major nice. English to be said. Nice. I mean, it's silly enough, and I, I, I don't mind. Like the tone of the game makes sense for it. Yeah, and you do re you do fight these bosses again, just in updated forms. And those fights can get really hard. Hooray. But for now, they're pretty. They're easy pickings. We got a piece of wood. Yep. We're Yay. Pretty much one, so we're one fourth of the way done. And um, on that note, I do believe it's almost time to get going. So. Uh, Hey, no socks. We got the rap piece from this dungeon in the area, so let's keep exploring. Eh, maybe okay, another yeah. time. I guess we'll be going back to the fancy ruins later. Yeah, the fancy ruins, because again, that's where you go to the art exhibit dungeon, which in itself is kind of amusing. <laughs> the stick. It's, so yeah, it's just a stick. So, I mean, so, so how much is this game on the Switch? Uh... It's thirty bucks on the Switch right now. Um, the original version was around. The original game was around twenty bucks. I want to say I, I could say, be wrong. I was gonna say if we've already seen over a fourth, if we've already seen about a fourth of the base game. I feel like this should only be like twenty dollars. I can agree to that. Like it is a pretty short game. I mean, it's it's a very fun it's a very fun time killer. But at the same time, <laughs> it. So I could see it as a little bit pricey, but on that note, that is it for our look at on Eatle Do 2 Plus for the Nintendo Switch. Again, I I personally recommend it. I just, though I would also also recommend maybe waiting for a, a price drop or please, some sort yes, of sale. Just, please remember that this game is just ten dollars cheaper than Shadow of the Colossus, the remastered <laughs> edition. 
Yeah. <laughs> way to way to run it in. Anyway. No, no, but in all honesty, this does actually look like a really fun game. And and if I was <laughs> more into the, if I was more, see, the you're the big Zelda buff. What do you think about this game? Um, I like that it gives off a lot of, uh, I, I think, I, I feel like vibes is the wrong word, but I'm seeing a lot of Zelda references that remind me of a lot of different Zelda games. Like inspirations, S motifs, whatever. Motifs, that's the word, thank you. And also turning them on their heads, which is a, which is always a nice change of pace. But, that said, I'm James Bay Extreme. Lucky Jack 20. Highway Princess Lita. You know, you're a kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot how she sounds, and I honestly don't care. Goodbye, everybody. Until next time, everybody. I said good day.